So today we are trying to replicate a guy tan colour. We've bought all of his products, we're going to copy his video from start to finish and we're going to see if we can actually achieve this. Stay tuned to find out. Hi, my name's Lauren and I've got seven years hairdressing experience. <laughs> How much time do you spend on your hair each week? Have you had any dislikes for any hair colour or was it just the haircut? Um, yeah, just the haircut. Just the haircut. Yeah. Yeah. I don't really like it when yes. I've had where you have layers in the pad, so when yeah. I tie my hair up and it's yeah. like, because like sticking like, out all over yeah, the place. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. So I had a purple balance. Two and a half years ago, okay. and when I had it done, I didn't realise the purple was semi permanent. And then, so yeah, it was washing up quickly, and I went to Sally's salon and got some professional stuff and did it myself for a bit, but found it a bit too much. So I got some really dark on yeah. to try and cover it. Yeah. And so, was it just an oil colour that you put on top of the um, balayage that you Yeah. Had? So yeah. I tried to keep my roots as much as possible. So I tried to cover it and. Had a bit of an experiment where I went a bit too dark and then had to try and lighten it a little bit, but I've not touched it in two years. My name's Jackie. I have been hairdressing since 2012. But today we've got a model coming in. She's got brown hair. We're going to lift her up a bit brighter and try and aim for a mushroom tone. I think it's going to be really nice. I'm excited to try something different, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Yeah, so your biggest, biggest expectation from me today, so I guess oh gosh, just a change. Yeah. Yeah? yeah I'm just excited like to have a little bit of change. Cause like, mushrooms? Yeah, I mean, I, I like being dark. I, I am actually naturally blonde. This is not my natural colour. Oh my gosh! I was very, very blonde when I was a child. Like, milky blonde. Oh. Yeah, when you think about like, an Abador. Like, yeah, really milky blonde. So um, that's my natural colour. So I've been dark for a little while, and like it, over the years, I kind of when I very, very, very first went in there, it was like a very, very light kind of dairy chocolatey colour. That's when I first went in. Um, and it's kind of gradually over the years, I've kind of gone from a little bit darker, then I've gone a little bit lighter, I've kind of gone through it, I've kind of come lighter again, and I've gone back to dark and like stuff. So it's kind of transitions a little bit, but I'm kind of, this is where I might be at the moment, but obviously it's just one, one colour. solid colour, but to be fair actually sometimes through my lengths, I think from where I had the balayage put through it before, I mean bearing in mind that was quite a few years ago now I had that done, um, it still lightens up quite a lot obviously, and I think because of my natural colour as well, it just naturally gets a little bit lighter, so sometimes I've kind of got different tones, but as I've obviously only had it done recently, had a little bit more of a colour sort of put down through the length um, just to cover that. So yeah, I'm kind of just one solid colour, so it would be nice to kind of have a little bit of a change with this that you guys can do today and maybe feet, like come back a little bit lighter again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that would yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Do you, so when you're shampooing your hair, are you just shampooing the roots? I'm shampooing the whole of the hair, yeah, but then conditioner, I only put on, I don't condition out on the roots, only because of obviously the fact that it gets oily. So I don't ever condition it now, I usually just condition the link. Yeah. Yeah. So I didn't know this before I started hairdressing, but you're only meant to shampoo the roots because that's where your hair, as you said, is producing the oil naturally. Okay. So it's only the two inches because you're mainly shampooing to get rid of the dirt and oils out of the scalp. Yeah. When the shampoo is running through the ends, because yeah. it's not getting that oil, that like the shampoo running through is enough to cleanse that. Because you shampoo twice. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. You shampoo once won't bubble up too much because it's just getting rid of the oil, second yeah. time it will bubble up. Yeah. But yeah, just the bubbles going through is enough to cleanse it, otherwise you're, you know, putting a really cleaning agent on your ends, but it's not had that oil, like the roots, oh, to get it out, okay. maybe that'll help you, but definitely so literally just got, yeah, concentrate it at the root, and then as you're washing out, obviously a bit, it kind of goes down through the hair anyway, doesn't it? But yeah. As opposed to yeah, because that's really like, when you shampoo, you're opening up the cuticle, if you're rubbing that yeah. in, that's going to take the oils that you're trying to get in there out. Okay, so yeah, I'll try that then. Do it, yeah. I guarantee yeah. you'll notice a difference. So yeah. yeah, do that, conditioning, you're perfect, put it through yeah. the ends and the mids, comb it yes. through, keep it off the roots. Yeah. Same thing again, your body's producing that oil here naturally, yeah. so you don't need a the conditioner there. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, okay. there you go. I'll try that. <laughs> Um, <laughs> thank you. No, that's okay. That's why I love these things. We can really, help, I can help you and like, because yeah, it's those things like if someone doesn't tell you, you don't know. You're the same. Um, this is the thing, having that knowledge. So yeah, I'll try that. Have <laughs> you ever had a reaction to colour? No. No. Must be fine. And when did they give you a patch test? Um, when did I come in? 
it was early last week. Um, I think it might have been, was it Tuesday? Yes, it was Tuesday. Yeah. Okay, so that would be the 21st. Mm -hmm. Mm, yeah, so first or yeah. Mm -hmm. good. And so, mm -hmm. now we get to the good stuff. I need to know about the last five years of your colour history. So, oh my God. Let's, how long have you been dark for at the moment? Oh God. Years. Do you know like two years? Do you mean that's in this dark or yeah. just in general when I went brunette? Um, oh this, so like, did, let's go back, let's go backwards. So you've been dark, how long have you been this colour for? Oh, this colour, probably hmm, a good couple of years now. Mm -hmm. um, this kind of sh yeah, this kind of shade I would say has probably been maybe a good three or four years. Oh wow! Yeah. All oh, right. Yeah. Three. Um, yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then before that, is that when you had the balayage? So I had balayage. Ooh, yes, it must have been. Um, and it was and it was it, it was more of a lighter it was a lighter brown shade anyway I would say probably a bit more like your shade okay yeah so it was a, it was a little bit lighter again before that and then I had the sort of the blonde caramelly balayage put up through it um, yeah. so yeah so it was so brown it was, yeah balayage mm -hmm. and then we've been dark for the past few years yeah did you yeah. have any other highlights before the brown or uh, is that when you kind of started? Lightning. That's the only no. That's the only highlights I've had. That I did go. I did have red done once as well. Actually, I had red. Red. Okay. <laughs> so after after the balayage, um, I went back to dark, and then I had and then I had red put in, and then went back to dark again. So that's going to be, yeah, that's going to be that in between period. <laughs> that's alright. So I'm just going through. I know this again. a lot, isn't it? <laughs> So you played around with it a little bit. That's right. So you've been dark for about three years. Before yeah, that, you had yeah. a bit of a red face. That's what you all do. Get a bit of a red face. Yeah. And then Excuse before me, that, proper plummy, like plummy red. I thought yeah. Your eyes were hot. So <laughs> it was quite nice. It's a bit of a change, but yeah, I kind of just one of those things where I'm kind of like, okay, that's something different. Yeah, I needed something yeah, different. Yeah. Definitely. And then I decided, nah, that wasn't for me. Afterwards. That's right. So yeah, dark for three years. Mm -hmm. We tried a bit of red. Um, had it dark as well mm -hmm. before that, then before you yeah. went dark you had the balayage yes. and then that's when you started before the balayage yeah. playing with the brown. But before that yeah it was just generally kind of slightly different shades of brunette but yeah, yeah, yeah that's Thank mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. um, and you had a patch last time first? Yeah. yeah. And that was a little Yeah, yeah. Have you ever had any reaction to a headache? Has it been really busy since being back in Really busy. Yeah. 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 So we've been talking before, and ever since we've been mm. really busy. We're trying to open up every day as well, so mm. on Sunday and Monday as well. Mm. Whereas before we were closed on them to do yeah. but just to come for everyone in. Mm. But it's also been really nice to come back to work and it's been really busy. Yeah. Mm. Thanks for having me that time off. <laughs> Um, not a huge fan. Yeah, not a huge fan. My sister used to read a lot of them actually back in, back, back in the day when we were younger. Oh yeah. <laughs> don't say that you're not a huge fan while she's doing Yeah. 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 Yes, I've seen that. No, I Yeah. Really good. Yeah. Jack Lucas and Yeah. Yeah, some good classic music. Yeah, to be fair, there are some really good classic movies that have been adapted from the uh, All of the big ones. Yeah. Shawshank Redemption. Yeah, that's another it. fantastic film. Pet Cemetery, Shining, Harry, Cujo, Gerald's Game. All of the big ones. I've not seen that one actually. You've not seen Gerald's Game? No. That's good. No. Her and her partner go and stay in a log cabin away for the weekend, okay. get frisky in the bedroom, and um, he handcuffs her to the bed, goes to walk on the other end of the bed, and then has a heart attack and dies on the floor. And yeah. she's left there yeah. completely on her own, oh, handcuffed on the bed. That. Yeah. yeah. And he, she, he's dead on, like, dead, dead on the floor unconscious. No. And it no. becomes. How do you adapt that into a movie? Like, what? It's really good. In like, terms of how she gets herself out? It's, or, it's or quite gruesome. 
Oh, damn. Um, but, um, but she started cutting her limbs off and stuff. I wonder how she would she do that? She can't go anywhere. So basically, it becomes a problem because they're out in the middle of us. Yeah. The front flap door was left open. It comes in there. Oh, no, things come in. Oh. Things come in. So the wolves are coming in, and like bears and all sorts of things are trying to come in. And I was trying to eat her. Oh, my God. And I think there's a lot of like a mind game as well going on in it. She's just psychological like, as well as like, yeah. gory and gruesome. Yeah, and yeah. also she's in a lot of pain yeah. in her arms, so she's been above her for like four or five days. Yeah. She can't eat, she can't literally do anything, she can't drink, nothing. And in the end, there's like a man yeah. trying to tell you, you can't eat her. Yeah. yeah. There's a glass above the bed on the um, on shelf, right. and she manages to knock it off, smash it, get into her hand, and she cuts her hand. She cuts her hand so that she can pull her hand through. It's, it's quite gruesome. I'm not, yeah, see, I'm not fantastic with, with really gory stuff like that. I'm a bit like, what? Pet cemetery is my favourite. Pet cemetery, yeah. I love it. Like, That's the one my sister was reading. Please read that. So good. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's based on like, a true like, event you thought of in the head. So, okay. if you read the inside of double O on Pet Cemetery, he said yeah. that he didn't want to publish it and that he chose not to publish it but it was his wife that forced him to do it oh. and he thinks it's the most disturbing book that he's ever written. Really? So much so that he wrote he wrote it and then didn't publish it, didn't even reread it for another six months. Really? He said he just put it down and he thought he'd gone too far. He said that he's, that wouldn't sell and even if it did that was wrong, it was disturbing. Oh. And that, so, so he didn't want to really, he didn't want to publish it he didn't because want to he thought it was it. too. And he too, said the too, reason too. why it's so disturbing for him is because it's based on his own like true thoughts, feelings, yeah. and like fears. So he oh. actually did move to a new home on a busy road. Okay. And he did have young children at home. Now you can see all that like, absolutely yeah. petrified of oh his, his babies going out in front of the cars. <sighs> Oh my god. Mm -hmm. And then it, this is all literally been put down on paper. And then to actually write about it. Yeah. I suppose it's kind of making it true. Real. Yeah. And then his wife made him publish it. Yeah. Why did she make him publish it? Because she read it. It's such a good it's book. Such she was like, this is just like, you have to publish it. Oh, and if okay. you really watch okay. the movie, the movie's a slightly different to the book. Yeah. So the movie, she's older, and okay. it's her that does it. Yeah. In the book, it's her two-year-old little boy who does it. Oh. So it's different. There's only, there's only one little girl in the movie, yeah. whereas in the book, there's a little girl and a little boy. And the little girl isn't involved in it, but the little boy, he's two years old, oh comes back and does it. So it's a bit it's, more... Yeah, I know what you mean. It's crazy, isn't it, when you think about how, yeah, how people write about things that are so, like, dark oh, and disturbing. Oh, I think it's fantastic. I love but, it, yeah, I, I get how it's kind of like, it can really kind of suck you in and you like, really like that kind of thing. If only they were that long, God. Looking <laughs> good so Yeah, that's lifted up really nice. I'm quite happy. Yeah. How are we looking over here, guys? Is it good? Yeah. Oh. How long ago did you, um, did you come to the UK? So it's been like five and a half months. So I come here a few weeks before the flights got cancelled. Oh my god, really? Yeah. Oh god, so you're completely like new here then? Yes, but I'm so lucky, like I um, met with my partner here. Yeah. So like, yeah, I've got him and... Is he, he's English? French. Oh, he's French. Oh, wow, okay. Yeah. So I met him in Australia. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just being able to be somewhere new, I'm yeah. not locked down, like where I'm from. Yeah. It's literally a petrol station and a school. I'm from like the country. Okay. So to be it's here and have like, sort of... tiny. Yeah. So to be here with all these walking trails and like shopping and everything you want yeah. is so unreal. We are a big city, aren't we? So yeah. Yeah, it's so, really lucky, but it's very yeah. urban, like it's so cool in yeah. Bristol. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty cool city actually. I'm going to get your brick colour mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. Like that. Okay. So we are actually mid colour. We have a lot of brassiness, a lot of yellow tones. Um, we might have to alter what we're doing very slightly just to achieve it. But all together, it's looking good. Yeah. 
actually what really hurts when I use that like squeeze. Just swing around a bit. You were like this one. Dude, well do it away we do it away with this. This is this is that you were like before. <laughs> yeah. And then you would pick it back up and put it back on and shake your neck. What's his hair like? I don't know, I didn't see it. He kept putting his hat back on. I honestly think it was plastic. I can't even remember, you just gave me a little bit. You were like thinking you're cool. Wait, so this is roots. Oh my god, that camera's been on like the whole time. That's what's about my side of the mountains.
our mushroom vine color and what we should try next so leave us a comment below please like share and subscribe and feel free to follow us on our facebook hbb city center styling or we have a closed group hbb training um yeah hbb training group and we will post new training videos for everybody to learn along with us and yeah we can all build our own little community thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon bye Bye!